two women who have been chosen and handled by those above them more wicked than themselves are Fanny Willis and Letitia James. They have gone against Trump. They've tried to get him in a headlock. And what they're doing is illicit. And let's say first illicit in the eyes of God because dishonesty in high places is very, very bad. And um, the things they've charged Trump with, wow. Letitia James, Kitty, let mommy be, okay? Let me talk, okay? Um, Trump, there is no victim. Trump borrowed money, he paid it back. The banks made money and the banks are happy. So they accused him of borrowing money in a wrong way, which he didn't. The banks are happy, there is no victim. And now Letitia and her gang are trying to get over 300 million out of him and threatening to take away his um, prime building there in New York. So um, it's so ridiculous that unless you hate Trump, you would see that it's ridiculous. And then with Fannie Willis down in Georgia, um, She's been used, I'm sure. She's a pawn, but she's a very willing pawn, and her hatred for Trump is very evident. And she's got 18 people there that she's trying to bring down. Now, if Trump believed that Georgia cheated and he asked for the correct votes to be found, just because he unfortunately did say, oh, this is how many we would need, that does not mean that he was being dishonest or trying to disrupt a true election. He was trying to say, oh, look, they've cheated, and I want it made right. So they are talking about motives in his heart against his First Amendment rights. And I think that what has happened to Fannie Willis in being found out that she has corruption and she's been making love to a man that she hired and paid $650,000 to, um, that is bringing her 